Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to watch Twitch live streams through VLC player. There are many benefits of it, like being able to watch a 1080p stream in 60fps with less buffer, and there's also other benefits as being able to manually edit the configuration of the video and the audio. So you're going to of course have to get VLC player and just download this and save it. And next you're gonna have to go to Livestreamer. I will have all of the links in the description. And right here it says installer. Make sure you're under the Windows binary section and just click installer and it will load up and just save that. Okay, now that we have our files installed, simply just install them like usual you know you read this and agree to it and just leave this normal leave it at its default location or else something could go wrong and just install it and you don't need to worry about editing the configuration file unless you really know what you're doing if you want to know what you can do just read the website for live streamer then do the same with VLC. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through it. But, um, yeah, just, you shouldn't have any problems with that. And before doing anything else, make sure you open VLC. There will be a license agreement. And whether you want updates, just do whatever you want to with that. And make sure you've at least opened it. And once you've done that, you should be able to open your command prompt. And... We can get started. Okay, so now that we have our CMD open, we can continue to type in live streamer and hit enter. It may take a second to load, and if all this text flies open, then you know that you've installed it correctly. So now you're probably wondering okay, well, how do I use this to open a live stream? So what you would do is you will type live streamer, you always have to type this, and then you'll put a space, and then whatever stream you want to open. So say you're on Twitch, you'll type twitch.tv slash, and then the name of the stream. You can't be a nickname, it has to be the actual URL. So I'm going to do Cherno TV and hit enter. Now, when you do this, you may get an issue. Yeah, okay. So notice it didn't open it, but it does say available streams, audio, high, low, medium, mobile, source. Now, this person's a partner, so I'm allowed to get quality options from him. So I'm just going to do source. So you just add that at the end of whatever quality options you're wanting and hit enter. Now, it's going to load it up. And let's mute him. So now I now have Cherno's stream open and I can do whatever I want to with my VLC if I want to crop it and so on. Uh, one thing to note is if you open with the CMD, you must leave this minimized or else something could go bad and it will close or whatever um so you're probably thinking you know this is pretty much of a hassle well you can also make a batch file i'm not going to show how to make a batch file just because it's a batch file but look up how to make a batch file if you want to do that if you go to the same streamer every day then you could do that but the thing is you know well we still have to open the web page so what I highly suggest getting is Chatty IRC. So Chatty IRC is a Java-based, Twitch-based chat client. Works just like IRC, but in this, you can actually right-click and go to Live Streamer and Best, and it will just open the stream. And it works exactly the same. So, uh, if you want that, you can just go to getchatty.sourceforge.net. I'll leave it in the description as well. 
And that's basically it. If you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll check them whenever I can. Thanks for watching and peace.